Hello friends, welcome to another seascape photography video at Marshall Beach down here in San Francisco. And we got some really nice clouds all around me right now. Just gorgeous, gorgeous clouds. And uh, I'm really hoping that these clouds catch some beautiful light. Because I've been coming down here recently and every single time I come down to this beach I get poor conditions. And I'm really hoping this is the one. Hopefully when we get good light, or if we get good light, I'll have a nice composition picked out. So you can see, we've got the two boulders here. And uh, then we've got all these nice rocks spread out, going in kind of a zigzag pattern up to the sun out there in the distance, which of course is being framed by the two rocks. And what I like right now is the horizon is really bright and vivid. We also have some darker clouds right above the sun, which helps to kind of isolate the light. It almost adds like a natural vignette, which I think could look really cool. Oh, there we go. Beautiful water motion. Looks like the water's kind of pushing this way, but every once in a while it does kind of arc towards the rocks. so beautiful. So I'm going to have to bracket this quite a bit to get all of that detail out there in the distance since we are facing just right into the sun. So I like what this is doing right now. I like this composition um, with the rocks, but I, I don't think we're close enough to these foreground rocks. So I'm just going to move the camera closer here. And I think that is starting to look a little bit more interesting. Yeah, check that out. Oh, and here's a big wave coming in. All right. Woo! Tripod sinking. But this is a gorgeous wave. I think this is gonna work really nice. And we got another one coming. Woo! Okay. And Got to make sure to get all the spots off the lens. It's funny, seascape photography is, you know, one of my favorite things to do, but I will say it's, it's one of those types of photography that's never very relaxing. <laughs> You're always cold in the water. There's always water motion and splashes on the lenses. And, you know, it's certainly not the most uh, relaxing type of landscape photography, but What's funny is when you look at seascape photography, it oftentimes presents itself as very peaceful. Okay, here's a big wave coming in. That looks really nice. And I like to get the wave receding as well as coming in because it creates a different pattern So I'm trying another composition here. I'm just bracketing. But I decided to put this boulder just right front and, front and center um, in front of the lens down here in the foreground. And what my hopes are is that the wave is gonna crash over the boulder and create a little waterfall and then maybe swirl around it and create a cool pattern. So we'll, we'll see if that actually works because right now the waves are a little far out, but I see a wave coming in right here now, let's see. Interesting. I don't like that bit of foam that's stuck there. It kind of ruined the, the pattern here. That's a little better. Yeah. I'm not sure why my lens is getting so fogged up. It's not even too cold out here. Oh, look at all that foam. Beautiful. There's some nice, nice rocks in here. Might be a good opportunity to do a frame with the Golden Gate Bridge. I like these two rocks right here as well. 
That's the problem with this type of shooting. There's so much to shoot and it feels a little bit overwhelming. I, I can't tell you how many hundreds of times I've been to this exact beach and I still, every time I get here, I'm a little puzzled as to what I want to shoot. It takes me a while of just exploring and, um, you know, looking at what's uh, available, especially with the changing tides. This looks so pretty. Oh, that's a huge wave. That may be a rogue wave. I'm going to stand a little bit this way. Wow. That was a big wave. That was an impressively large wave. That was the biggest wave that I've seen here for this sunset. Remember when I said uh, seascape photography was not very relaxing? <laughs> There's a nice one coming in. All right, let's see how this looks. <laughs> Look at all this foam. Foamy. I've got some nice turbulent wave motion in here, but I'm not quite sure if I, I like it. I'm gonna try a composition right here and see if maybe we can get some water motion in between these two rocks. It's a little deeper right here, so the wave is gonna come up higher. It's kind of also an awkward spot to stand, but I think this could be an interesting composition. So it's worth at least a quick quick shot just just to see and I'll wait for just one more there we go good splash good splash and yeah, wait for that wave to recede if I was a superhero they'd call me they'd call me foamy legs it used to be the foggy lens. Now it's foamy legs. All right. I'm gonna move a little bit before I press my luck too much. Because as much as I want a shot, I also don't really feel like losing my camera right now. That wouldn't be too fun. Although it'd be fun for you guys. It'd probably be a pretty entertaining vlog if I said, photographer loses camera, and then I can make a really cool clickbait title. This looks so pretty right now with the gradient, the dark bit of orange down there below the bridge and the purples in the, in the clouds. It's crazy. I kind of, I want to find a place to stand where I'm not going to get destroyed by the waves. There we go. Oh, there's a huge wave coming. Uh, uh, not too big, actually. On my POV camera, we got Kyle and Nick right there shooting, catching awesome, awesome sunset colors, right? <laughs> Check out these kind of pink pastel swirls right above the bridge. It's just really gorgeous. And what's nice is they have a similar pattern to what the whitewash uh, here is doing right around the rocks. So I think it'll It'll make for a really nice composition where you have sort of mimicking uh, shapes and patterns. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna get a few more shots right here. And I think I'm going to switch to shooting in that direction because that sky is blowing up and I wanna see if I can get it over those two rocks we were photographing earlier. But I need to be very, very quick. Oh, here we go. Nice bit of flow there. Okay, so this is a very risky thing that I'm doing right now because I don't really like to move while the sky is blowing up with beautiful colors. But I do want to try and get a shot at these rocks because that was kind of my main goal when I got here. And we'll see if my risky maneuver pays off with a good image or not. But I feel like I got a pretty nice shot of the bridge that I'm happy with. I mean, incredible colors and some different variations of that. Uh-oh. We got the sea stacks and the glow and the rocks and it's beautiful. This is the type of uh, sunset where you, you process it and then everyone says it looks fake because <laughs> the colors are so vivid. And you're like, no, I swear, the colors were that vivid in person. I'm just trying to composition with this rock right down here. See if we can get some waves sweeping over it right now. And uh, what's really nice is we've got, I mean, <laughs> Some of the craziest sky color I've ever seen at this beach, to be honest. And uh, it's glowing and reflecting off not only the sand, but also the rocks. So all the rocks down here are getting this incredible orange warm light. And yeah, that sky is unbelievably vivid right now. I don't even know if the GoPro is capturing what we're seeing right now. It's spectacular. So I'm really hoping I can get some water motion that, that helps to accentuate that light and helps to accentuate that composition. As far as settings go, I'm ISO 100, about F16 or so, and 0.6 of a second is looking pretty nice, but I've been trying some different variations of shutter speeds. This might be the most spectacular sunset I've ever seen on this beach. No, you know what? This is definitely the most spectacular sunset I've ever seen on this beach. So we're just gonna move over here because I wanna see what it looks like in these rocks. These are the rocks that I was shooting earlier, but the tide is a little high as you can see. I might try and get one quick composition right here while the light is nice. It's crazy how even right now the light isn't as intense as it was earlier, but you get this like almost V shape from the clouds which looks really cool in the wide angle lens here. Wow, well that was definitely the best sunset I've ever seen here. And I, you know, like I said earlier, been here hundreds of times and that was by far the best sunset. Um, as with most of these seascape shoots, it was pretty overwhelming you're just really chaotic, trying to find a composition, trying not to get hit by a wave, trying to clean the camera off. Um, so, you know, I'm uncertain about some of the compositions I got, but overall, I mean, condition-wise, that was just spectacular. So um, I'm really glad I was able to take you guys on this little, little adventure. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.